All righty, let's go ahead and jump in. Thank you all for joining me this afternoon, morning, um, evening, anywhere you're joining from across the globe. Look forward to talking about Instance Observer for our guided customers with impact. Uh, but first, just want to introduce myself. My name is Zach Temple. I'm an outbound product manager for Impact. And again, look forward to talking about Instance Observer for Guided. Okay. Um, ServiceNow is the platform for digital business. Our customers are looking to accelerate results and realize sustained returns on their investment. In order to help align your strategy and execution to the business outcomes you're looking to achieve, we want to help boost your bench strength, help you focus on some of the more value driving innovations that will deliver real time value for your customers and end users to ensure we're not creating a gap between your future state vision and what you're able to achieve in the short term. So we've released a solution called ServiceNow Impact, and a part of that is Instance Observer, one of the premium tools that is available to you. Uh, disclaimer, this presentation may contain forward-looking statements that reflect the current beliefs of ServiceNow and are based on the current information available. These forward-looking statements should not be relied upon in making purchasing decisions. With the safe harbor out of the way, let's jump into some of the live on ServiceNow events. Um, today's session is a part of the live on ServiceNow um, ecosystem, a curated event series to connect you with ServiceNow experts, peers that can help you deploy your products and achieve your value faster. We hope you join us again for future sessions, uh, webinars, and 360 exchanges. Uh, you can see the schedule by scanning the QR code or using the link in the chat. A little bit of housekeeping. Um, we do have some time for Q&A at the end um, around impact and instance observer. Hopefully I can do my best to answer those. Um, this session will be recorded and shared on the ServiceNow community. Um, and after the event, you will be tasked with hopefully filling out a survey for us so we can see if we're doing a good job or not. But now let's jump in and start talking about instance observer. Um, I love this quote, you know, we're gonna talk about the inception of instance observer, but uh, the quote here from Jeffrey Moore, you know, without appropriate data, you're blind and deaf in the middle of nowhere, of a freeway, I'm sorry. Um, and that's really where we started with Instance Observer. Um, a few years ago, talking with our customers across the different personas within the organization, um, we continued to hear the same, you know, three sets of themes. There was a lack of visibility into the instance performance telemetry. Um, that often resulted in a lack of confidence when pushing innovation on their platform. Um, and at times it uh, introduced technical debt. Um, so we looked in the mirror, we said, what can we do to help our customers um, have a healthy platform where they can really bring innovation to life, um, realizing value for their customers and end users. So that's where we landed on Instance Observer, an off instance application that provides you, the user, uh, multi-instance visibility to your instances for your, um, for your organization. With this, we provide a ton of telemetry, over 90 different telemetry types, which I'll show. And you get underlying metadata associated with the instance. So you really are able to point and dig into different areas of the instance where technical debt might persist. And again, landing on a very healthy platform. Um, and then you get the historical insights. There's a historical component. It's not just near real-time access. You are able to look at these trends over time. So when we piloted Instance Observer, we went back to the same customers that were raising those concerns. Um, and they believed and, and saw the value in Instance Observer and how it unlocked the instance performance telemetry for them. Um, really allow them to push innovation. Again, it's a multi-instance view, being able to look at sub-production, uh, understanding any impacts there well before anything ever made its way to production, and then addressing that technical debt, um, digging in, understanding where it persists. And then once you know you have a healthy platform, how do you maintain that long-term? So from a guided perspective, we're unlocking that telemetry for you through Instance Observer. The first being our reporting module. Um, this is a dashboard-like experience that uh, collects some of the data and provides it to you in a matter of clicks. I'll demonstrate that in a few moments. Um, and then the performance charts, this is where you really start to dig into that instance performance telemetry. Um, again, you're gonna have 90 different telemetry types. We continue to add to that portfolio, um, able to go back in time, understand those trends and see um, behaviors within the platform. So with that, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen for a second and bring up Instance Observer. So you can see here, um, we are in impact. Um, this is your you know, single point of entry for your ServiceNow journey as it relates um, with impact. Um, but a big component of that is going to be you know, platform health. And again, for the first time, our guided customers are gonna have access to Instance Observer, which can be found in the monitor tab. Um, this is where you're gonna see some high level telemetry um, associated with each of your instances. 
um, and then a link to Instance Observer. Instance Observer is a very robust application, um, so it stands alone outside of the Impact Digital experience. Um, within this, this is my demo environment, and you're only seeing one, but upon logging into Instance Observer, um, landing on the homepage, you would see your full instance stack, so all of your production and sub-production instances. You see some of the same high-level telemetry that's available to you um, in the Impact software, the availability of each instance, um, cluster details, um, and then any monitoring alerts that have been triggered in the last 24 hours. And if you're not familiar with the monitoring alerts, those are alerts you know, we service now have in place for each of your instances. Um, and again, you would see that in uh, production and sub-production instance. From the reports module, jumping in here, uh, there's two pre-canned reports that are available to you. The first being the daily performance metrics, which I'll demonstrate here in a second. Uh, but the first is the database growth report. So Instance Observer does a really good job of providing, um, you know, performance telemetry. But one other thing that it does provide um, is really good visibility into your database, the size, tables, um, and different data associated with that as well. Um, I'll demonstrate this chart um, and some others within the performance module. Um, again, similar experience across Instance Observer. Select your report, select your instance, and then what date range you would like to visualize. Again, guided customers have up to 45 days of historical data available to them. Upon generating the report, um, again, you're gonna see a few charts load here. Um, the first being your primary data, database size. Uh, so the sum of all of the tables and what does that look like over the date range in which you selected. Similar telemetry um, for the instance, including shards. Um, and then you're gonna see your top 20 tables by size. Um, in a few moments in the performance module, I'm gonna show you uh, a really cool chart that's gonna show you some of your core tables um, and then a visual of all of the tables associated with the instance you select. Then the instance availability, um, really cool view into uh, just quickly validating instance availability and also locations um, of your instances within the globe. Um, then separating from that, we'll jump over to the help tab. So the performance module, I call these telemetry families. When you click in, which I will demonstrate here in a second, you're going to see a lot of underlying metrics. Uh, but these are the families in which they're associated with. Uh, but before we jump in, let's look at the help tab. We try to do our best to provide some how-to tutorials in addition to our FRED training. But I do want to bring your attention to the metrics overview. And um, this is our metric definition library. And you can see here on the right, you're going to see all 90 plus telemetry types that are available to you. And we try to do our best to provide a good definition. And then when it's applicable to the telemetry type, we provide what it could mean from a troubleshooting standpoint. I don't think anyone's an expert in all 90, but we try to do our best to provide you with the information of understanding what it is and how you could leverage that data from a troubleshooting perspective when issues do arise within the instance. So jumping over to the performance module, um, this is again, where you're gonna be able to dig into this telemetry um, from a historical perspective and a near real time available uh, availability perspective as well. Um, your top three, as you think about instance availability um, and main, making sure you have a good, healthy and running instance, uh, your top three telemetry families that will be important to you are transaction response times, database and semaphores. Uh, there's a lot of other good telemetry here, but those are the three and most applicable to all customers. Um, from the response time perspective, again, it's that similar experience I talked about. Select your instance, select your date range, um, select the different metrics um, that you would like, um, and then you're gonna be able to get snapshot. So the first part is going to be providing you with some KPIs, which is going to look at you know, the instance behavior for that metric um, over the date range selected, and what are those averages? Um, and then you can see those averages and you can also see you know, user transaction behavior. And then from a response time, you can see when uh, revs have been put on the instance. Um, and you're able to click and drag and, and zoom in because the nice thing about this is you can see exactly when it happened. And then you're able to go back in time and look at the jobs and transactions that were running on the instance at that time. So as you start to see those trends, if you see long running jobs um, or transactions that continue to impact instance performance, you can quickly identify those trends and you know take care of the you know, take the you know, necessary actions on instance to hopefully reduce some of that technical debt and maintain a really high performing instance. Um, for some of the performance uh, telemetry, you are able to look at those at the instance and node level, um, and then drill down into the different transaction types as well. Um, currently, there's no schedule and send functionality that is on our roadmap, but you are able to download um, the different charts that are available to you through the performance module. Um, then as we look down, I mentioned the database growth. So wanted to 
touch on this because again, we show you the charts in the reports module, uh, but this one here, I really like, um, and it gives it to you in a little bit of a different visual. Um, the first is going to load and it's going to show you your DBI size. What does that trend look like over time? How's it you know, increased or decreased in size? And also provide some of your core tables, CMDB, sys metadata, sys user, um, and then your tax, task table, I'm sorry. Um, so again, getting that visual, but then you come down here to the database growth title. Um, this is gonna give you all of the tables on your instance. What is the size of the table? And then from a one day and seven day period of time, what is the growth and growth rate? So depending on what you're doing on the platform, you can easily visualize um, how your you know, uh, tables are growing or decreasing in size. Um, and that's a pretty consistent experience across all of the different telemetry um, that is available to you. Um, you know, again, from a semaphore perspective, uh, we do provide a lot of telemetry associated um, with your instance. And it's a multi-instance view. So you should really embed Instance Observer into your testing and lower environments. Uh, some of our best success stories with Instance Observer um, come when customers are identifying their you know, issues um, that impact an instance well before they make their way to production. All righty. Well, thank you everyone for, for attending this afternoon or morning, evening, no matter where you are. Um, really appreciate you taking the time to spend it with us. Um, again, this will be shared on the ServiceNow community. And again, there's a series of events around live on ServiceNow. So hopefully you find these val uh, valuable and we'll attend future sessions. Thank you.